guys welcome back to my channel I am really excited to finally be bringing you this video because it's one that's been very highly requested so I am really happy that I finally got a chance to get my hands on this very hot product you guys know I'm here in Canada so I had to wait a while before this was actually available on the Sephora Canada website which is where I purchased it and it is of course none other than the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder in the brand new shade medium deep and I've got a demo for you I'm gonna give you the pros and cons my personal thoughts on how well or not it worked out for me so let's get right into it if you guys aren't already aware, I do have a full review on Laura Mercier's original translucent loose setting powder, and I will put that link below for you to get my thoughts on that one. And as far as the specs for this new medium deep shade goes, they're exactly the same. Everything crosses over. You get the same amount, which is one ounce, and you're paying the same price. I paid $47 Canadian, US you'll pay 38 so when I heard Laura was coming out with a medium deep shade I was so excited to try it mainly because after I saw photos online I noticed that it was quite warm toned and I'm gonna insert some uh, video footage now actually comparing what Laura Mercier's uh, medium deep shade looks like compared to cover effects is medium deep translucent loose powder shade and you can clearly see that cover effects is much more neutral toned and Laura's is much warmer and as a warm undertoned very yellow very golden undertoned person I need to have a lot of warmth in my complexion makeup if you guys aren't aware cover effects actually just shortly before Laura Mercier released their own version of a medium deep shaded translucent loose setting powder along with an original uh, light shade when they came out with their perfect setting powder they released both shades at the same time a light version and a deep version and I find it really interesting how just five minutes later here comes Laura Mercier releasing her own version of a translucent loose setting powder in a medium deep shade now I'm not saying Laura is copying cover effects who knows how long the idea for this powder has been in the works and I'm not blaming Laura for getting her coins you get your coins Laura I am very very happy that you put this out on the market and cover effects put theirs out on the market there's room for everyone so congratulations and thank you on behalf of brown skinned colored ladies everywhere so like I said before all the stats that are applicable to the original loose translucent setting powder are applicable to this one it is a very sheer silky finely milled loose powder it blends seamlessly it doesn't settle into fine lines or pores it looks flawless on the skin it is incredibly soft and smooth all those wonderful things that any uh, very good quality high quality loose uh, setting powder should provide you so now we're gonna get right into the demo and after you've seen the demo I'll come back and give you my pros and cons and a final wrap-up so I've already uh, put my foundation and concealer on I'm using the cover effects natural finish uh, foundation one of my favorites and the Kat Von D uh, Locket cream concealer just a little bit under my eyes so that's all I have on my face no brows no eye makeup nothing on my lips except for lip balm hopefully this will focus for you translucent medium deep I am using a very minimal amount of powder I just dipped my puff in that's how much I have on the puff and now I'm going to fold it and work it into the puff that is what it looks like and again I'm also gonna tap off slightly on the back of my hand nothing much is coming off so now I am going to press and roll and you can still see 
a couple of little blemishes peeking through my foundation. I'm not a full coverage girl and I'm not going anywhere today. So I'm, I don't really care that my blemishes are showing through. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have um, added a little bit more foundation or concealer to conceal those. But I am more interested in just testing out the powder. And so far, I am really liking the way that it looks. It is right now, I don't know if you can see that, 441, up oh, 442. And I put my makeup on at 11.30 this morning. So we are, what is that, five hours in? So I have not touched my face at all. I have not blotted. And I do have a little bit of oil uh, on my forehead and nose coming through, but I'm okay with that for not having touched my face once. I am very, very pleased. I am completely in love with how this powder is sitting on my face. I don't have anything else on my face. You can still see a couple of blemishes uh, poking through there. I let you know in the first part of the demo that I wasn't interested in worrying about completely covering them. I just did a very light layer of foundation and a little bit of concealer under my eyes. So I wasn't interested in making sure that was covered at all. Uh, but I am very impressed with this powder. Um, I don't know if you can tell, it may look a just a hair darker than my chest, but I did pack on um, a couple of extra layers um, after I turned off the camera from the uh, first part of the demo. I wanted to see how the powder built up on top of itself and I was blown away. The more I kept on putting on my face, just the more beautiful it looked as a really good translucent powder should do. A translucent powder is supposed to be the most finely milled of all the powders, the most lightweight. So you should be able to build it up and not have any issues with cakiness. I think my skin looks very healthy. I'll come in a little bit closer so you can see uh, exactly how it's looking. And I am very, very happy. And I'm gonna wear it maybe a couple more hours and then give you my final thoughts at the end of the day. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that demo. So I'm gonna go right into some pros and cons that I found from my personal experience using the powder. So first and foremost, we're gonna start with the positives. The pros are that it performs just like the original. It is a beautifully finely milled, soft, silky, lightweight powder that does exactly what her original powder does, which is great because so many times brands sometimes put out different shades of a particular product uh, and the formulation just doesn't cross over. But in this case, it does. I even took both of my powders, the original and the medium deep shade, and put them in my fingers and felt how they compared to one another. And I actually found that the new medium deep shade was just slightly more silky and buttery than the original. And that leads me into my second pro, which is I found that this particular shade hands down was less drying than the original. I know that that's been a huge issue with so many people that have used Laura Mercier's translucent uh, loose powder. And many, many people have complained about the dryness factor. Well, with this shade, I don't know what's changed because I did check the ingredients and they are the same, but maybe the manufacturing process that went into this one just stepped up uh, their game just a notch and made this shade just that much more silkier, that much more smoother. And because of that reason, I found that I did not experience anywhere near the same amount of dryness that I do with the original. So for cons, I do have a few. First and foremost is 
price. It has to be price. This is not a cheap product. There are many more affordable, loose setting powders on the market that you could go for, but having experience now using both shades that Laura Mercier offers, I, for one, personally believe that it is worth it. When I did the comparison between Laura's powder and Cover FX's powder, Laura's is incredibly orange. It really does have a strong, warm, orange undertone. And if you're not careful, it will translate onto your skin. And for that reason, this powder is really best suited for people with warmer undertones because that underlying orangeness will come through. If you are a cooler toned person, it may affect the coolness of your other face makeup, your base, like your foundation and concealer, and warm it up too much and not have your complexion come out looking right if you are a cooler undertoned person. So just keep that in mind that the strong, warm undertone really does come through. So in conclusion, from my personal experience having used this powder now for the whole week, I definitely am going to be including it into my regular everyday makeup application routine because I love it that much. However, personally for me, I am an NC44, NC45, depending on what type of uh, MAC foundation I'm using. So I am a true medium deep, what the beauty cosmetic industry describes as a medium deep. And for me, using the powder alone, I did feel like that warm orange undertone came through a little bit too much. I have a very yellow undertone, so I need a lot of yellow and golden uh, undertones in my makeup. And the orangeness of Laura's powder just came through a little bit too much. When I went outside in natural daylight, I really did notice it much more than when I did when I was indoors. So just keep that in mind that that warm undertone really does come through quite strongly. So what I've decided to do and what I did for the first time today when I did my makeup for this video is I mixed the original and the medium deep together. And I love the result. And that is what I will be doing from this point on. I will be mixing the two. For me personally, that is gonna give me the best result. And I know a lot of you are thinking, ain't nobody got time for that. And I understand it is an extra step. And hopefully Laura will put out more shades or any other brand uh, it would be really helpful if there were a multitude of translucent shades to fit all of us. But for now, that is what I am choosing to do and I don't mind doing it because the powder does such a fantastic job. I love the way that it looks on my skin. It really melts right in and looks flawless and perfect. So that's it. That's my thoughts on this brand new uh, Laura Mercier powder. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was worth the wait. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and leave me comments below. I read them all and I will respond to any questions that you have. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.